Hi guys, welcome to a new video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. After having uploaded 50 plus videos on this channel, I think I need to increase my subscribe subscriber count. And my subscribers are still 17, so it would be kind if you would subscribe to my channel watch all of my videos and if you like them hit the like button don't fail to subscribe hit notification bell again i'm saying the same thing because i am putting the effort i'm putting quite a lot of effort to you know contribute to this channel contribute as in do my part on my own channel it's been really helpful i don't know how i do this interaction thingy alone in front of the camera i find it still i still find it weird to be interacting alone in front of the camera so today's video today's video is going to be about my breakfast for the week this is after a week that i have recorded all my breakfast monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday what all i have had without having like eggs every day before I went opted for this option of having just eggs, limiting eggs just for one day, I would have eggs every day. Eggs was like my holy grail breakfast. I cannot live without eggs. So in case a dietitian or a nutritionist comes across this video, it would be really helpful if you would give some of your insight of what would be best as a breakfast option for a condition that I have the PCOS condition and I managed I really managed to have eggs just for one day in a week otherwise I have incorporated something else in my breakfast like uh, cornflakes the moistly cornflakes then mashed potatoes and whatnot you'll get to see in the video so without wasting any time let's get into the video again Please subscribe to my channel. Here my bowl and I'm using the Kellogg's Muesli 21% fruit and nut. This has just 3% of protein I think. If you can see, it's 3% protein and I think there should be some content of protein for the day when you begin your breakfast but whatever you know I should be avoiding too much protein rich food because of the PCOS thing so we'll be having this for Monday I have my cereal in a bowl I won't be using hot milk for this I like room temperature milk when I eat my cereal I'll be having tea anyway it has fruit and nut in it my cereal is right here. Spoon. I'm going to add room temperature milk. No warm. I don't use warm or hot milk. This is just the way I like it. <coughs> I won't be having this cereal alone. I have one bread which I will be dipping into the milk and having. I don't know if you find that disgusting. Or the whole point of cereal and milk is to have it alone is what you think but I'm going to have it like this because I'm not going to have heavy protein or anything I don't know if the fruit and nut is going to compensate but I have already showed you net, net content the protein is just 3.0 that's how I want to keep my stomach full I'll be having bread with this this is breakfast for Monday Okay, today is day Tuesday. I have tea, noodles done in soupy style. I will be dipping bread and eating with this. I know noodles is like a weird option for breakfast, but I like having noodles. Yesterday I had something healthy. Today I am just having this. And I'm having tea in a coffee mug. I usually do because I love tea that quantity this is day Tuesday today is day Wednesday and this is my breakfast two breads two sunny side up eggs tea and the black thing you can see they are pepper flakes 
I know huge chunks. I don't know the grinder has some sort of a problem, but this is my breakfast for Wednesday. Today's breakfast is today is Thursday, and today's breakfast is mashed potatoes. I have mashed potatoes. I've added butter, milk, and some cheese. I know it's kind of on the heavier side, but morning you need to have something heavy. I'm trying to cut down on eggs, like I've mentioned. I have eggs. I'm trying to have eggs just once a week, and I have added some mixed herbs in this some uh, a dash of salt and mashed it all together blended it it is not an a runny consistency if you can see it's slightly thick i don't want it to runny like frosting this is just the right consistency and i've toasted some bread so i'll be dipping it in this i'm having i'm excited to have this mouth watering done with eating the mashed potatoes and this is my coffee this is how i prepare it and i'm about to have this now so today's breakfast is fish this is uh, tin fish canned fish in uh, tomato so that's the gravy of the tomato i mashed my fish and added some mayonnaise i'll be having all of this with bread i'll be dipping this into the gravy a little bit in the mayonnaise and having and alongside i have tea so i'll be getting my tea later so this is my saturday breakfast we are having bread with burger patty inside two breads and a cup of tea that's my uh, breakfast for saturday Okay, last day of the week of my full week's breakfast. Today is a Sunday and we have vegan omelette in my bread. I prepared it with graham flour. Added two table teaspoons of Szechuan sauce, one small onion, one chili, some salt and I whisked it all together adding slight bit of water. That's my vegan omelette. You can add any kind of spice. I added mixed herbs, store-bought mixed herbs in it. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so that's all for this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. I would really like you to give your insight or recommendations what I could use as an alternative breakfast for the eggs that I've been having. I have been having eggs like every day before that. So if you like this video, hit the like button. Again, comment below what you think about this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I have been really trying to post content on this channel. So your support would be much appreciated. That's all for this video. Until then, bye.